Hey guys, it's me, Vax and Jets. Uh, I hope you didn't just hear my cat, but yeah, my cat just decided to meow. Sorry about that. Uh, and sorry about that really long last episode. Uh, I I wasn't really paying attention to the clock, but yeah, Slumna Peak's a long mission, but yeah, so we we got everyone evacuated and all, all that nice stuff, so now we are going to begin Sun Loma Assault under a sky of fire. Uh, fires of Liberation. Then I'll give you the lowdown on our mission. Small unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and heavy command cruisers are all close heavy to command cruisers. functionality and have been uncovered as the enemy's secret weapons by our analysis results. Interesting. We have collected missile and small unmanned aerial vehicle samples, as well as radar records, analyzed them, and came up with the following. First of all, the small unmanned aerial vehicles are operated from long distance and approach their intended targets to destroy them. Makes sense. In step two, a special electronic signal inside of each small unmanned aerial vehicle is sent to a cruise missile for guidance. And for the final step, the cruise missile that was guided by a small unmanned aerial vehicle hits and destroys its attack target. All right. That is how the enemy's cruise missile system operates. Small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles are both launched from the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Once launched, they are operated from the heavy command cruiser via remote control. Our Joint Chiefs of Staff have drawn up a plan to destroy the enemy's missile system based on these analysis results. In order to conquer the heavy command cruiser, a constant barrage of attacks from the air is absolutely indispensable. First, we need to get a springboard to launch our plan of attack. We're about to head south to retake Cavalia Air Force Base in San Loma. Our okay. objective is to retake Cavalia's air facilities then establish a front line to destroy the enemy's missile system. Nice. Once the runway is secured, we should have a decent chance at taking out the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Hell yeah. Enemy forces will be heavily deployed from land, air, and sea. We'll be doing all we can to deal with them, but I'm sure they'll be ready for us. Success or failure of this mission will very likely have a significant effect on the war. Definitely. Put everything you've got into this one. Alright, so we appear to be outnumbered by quite a large number. Like, they have about four times as many forces as us, uh, 62 to 263. But I believe I can make up for it with my, my flying skills. I'm gonna stick with the old F 14, and I think I will pick up some guided penetration bombs just for all those ground targets. Because I think it's good to have a nice fast so, plane. Which, how about my weaponry? Yep. Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda oh team, yeah. Time to take off. Let's see. I just like anti-ship assaults. So it's got some badass music. Along with its military base, and use that as a base of operations for attacking the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Destroyer. Lock. Can get lock. Come on. Lock. Lock. Destroy all enemy ships dispatched offshore of San Loma. Take out any enemy forces of the That's what a might do. Oh, now it locks. San Loma's got some pretty tough defenses. Going in alone would be much too risky. Guess we better lay off the stunts today. Are you kidding? I live for the stunts. Oh damn, that's bad. Whoa. Damn. Alright, all my weapons seem to be very inaccurate, and I think that is because there is some enemy radar thing going on. So, 
I believe it is time for me to destroy the enemy radar and not get hit by missile. Getting hit by missile is not very fun, in my honest right opinion. Away. Almost. We have radar lock on. And fuck it, I'll just, I'll just do some regular missiles. Die, gunboat. Okay, my missiles just do not want to load right now. Alright, well that at least got the radar. So my plane should be a little more accurate. Ooh, what are those up there? F2s. The big Japanese F-16s, pretty much. them to track me on radar. Okay, uh, not really what I was trying to do. <laughs> Still got some ESM going on right there. Alright. Damn. That was awesome. Watch out, the enemy has a lock on you. I know. Why else would my plane be screaming at me in its language of beeps? <laughs> was a strange sentence. Alright. Oh, alright, alright. I'm just gonna go with my missiles. Well, oh, ow. You are a very mean boat. You are a very dead boat. Or maybe you aren't. God, that's a lot of anti-aircraft fire. Yeah. Seriously? I should've just gone with a tornado, shouldn't I? Aegis ship, the kind that can shoot down missiles. Perhaps that's why I was having so much trouble hitting shit. Very bright. Missile missed its target. Is it the morning or the evening? I'd assume morning. 
but I am not sure. Wow, you are lucky. That should have killed you. But I guess something else did. Dive bomb! Connecting ESM for Garuda 1. Lock on. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Uh, is that my emblem? Sweet. What are you talking about? Oh god. Missiles. Observation planes that'll minimize the damage to our forces. Very true. First wave of enemy cruise missiles incoming. Point of impact is showing up on radar. Stay clear of that area. Lock on. Anti aircraft gun destroyed. Oh, no, no. Oh, I saw the ESM thing right there. Yeah. I do not like the ESM. Not the Neverland. Whoa, that was a very fast plane. On the radar. Very good at evasive maneuvers. Oh. Crap. Can't see through the clouds. One AA gun right there. Really? this? Hell yeah. <laughs> Guys are gonna get fucked up. What is that? Right there. Brain falling from below. Enemy reinforcements are on their way. It's a heavily armed LCAC. Oh no. Cobweb. These uh, GPBs are not very good for moving targets. And how tough are these hovercraft? Oh, not tough at all.
really. Your urge to system being destroyed is just bad. Forces left. Oh, not chopper. Enemy plane in gun range. Missile missed. Oh, come on. Nice. Is about to get real. Their entire military is getting bombed. Damn. Fuck your Aegis destroyers. This reminds me of uh, Invincible Fleet from uh, Ace Combat 4. Oh man, that could have gone very badly. I'm already slightly damaged as it is from the cruise missile strike. Guts from Assault Horizon? Whoa, no, 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 no. Watch out, the enemy has a lock on you. Special weapons running low. See, I don't know why that happened. Some of this missile just, like, it looks like it's locked, but it doesn't even move. No! Oh, shit. Very bad. My damage is very bad. Uh -huh. Come on. There we go. Do they? That is very bad for me. I do not like Sam's. Garuda one out of special weapons. Enemy cruiser sunk. Three to seven missiles left. I can do this. I can do this just fine. All right. 
We do not want to get too close to any of those ships for obvious reasons. Oh man, I'm gonna spend the uh, the bombers flying around because that airfield just got fucked up. Now, Yay! Eh. Not gonna risk stalling and crashing. Just to kill a tank. Box two. Talisman, you're the key player on this mission. Don't get shot down. I know. I know. Can't fire a missile backwards. That is a damn shame. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, I, I, I did not realize that was happening. Yeah, get all the F 14s. said almost all targets are destroyed. I don't know. I probably shouldn't try to be the dra the grammar police. Watch out. Die. Oh. Yes, that's it. Targets are confirmed destroyed. We have taken over the city of San Loma. Yay. Let's go out for a few when we get back. Drinks are on me tonight. Talisman, we just took control of our airport from the Estovakians. The battle for Ameria has just begun. Hell yeah. Now that we've accomplished this mission, we have a good chance of taking out the heavy command cruiser. Sweet. Excellent job. Now that's going to be exciting. And I think I will be using a different plane for that, because... As much as I like the F-14, it's a bit disappointing in this game. It's slow, its weapons aren't very good. Or it's not slow, but not maneuverable at all. In fact, its speed is pretty much all it's got going for it. That's rank. Very good. Mission accomplished. We have managed to retake Cavalia Air Force Base and free San Loma in the process. Yay. Cavalia will be our chief base of operation for conquering the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Cool. Ultimately, the enemy's cruise missile system cannot be stopped unless their heavy command cruiser is destroyed first. Every minute counts for us here. Wait for your next order concerning this operation. I eager eagerly await it. S rank on everything. Dang, I killed 21 F-14s. I, I don't think there's even a 21 F-14s left flying. And 138 ground targets and 71 ships. Or well, that's probably ship targets, because... There probably weren't 71 ships, but there were, like, you know, anti-aircraft guns on the ships and all that kind of stuff. But, I am very pleased with this outcome. Our car has died directly under an aerial battle. Oh no. The engine managed to get us this far. But it's been destroyed by machine gun fire. This pilot is from Ludmilla's homeland. She asks the crashed pilot about a name, asking if he has any information. But the pilot takes a turn for the worse. 
Just before Check his wallet, steal his money. He seemed to be mumbling the name. Oh damn. Garuda. He's the one that shot me down. I killed a man. I know exactly what she's going through. Why she's overcome with such emotion. My husband could have very well ended up like this. And now I know. The one she loves is a pilot as well. As we save a man's life on this wide open plane, oh, he lived. We both begin to realize what we share, how much we have in common. Oh, we got the SU 33. And I think that is going to be our next aircraft. So, uh, hope you like this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And,. Next episode is going to be Heavy Command Cruiser with the Igion, and it's going to be pretty awesome, I think, so see ya.